Talent Inc. March 2019. Yay! We're so excited to be here. Uh, my name is Julia, and I am here with the amazing Brianna Reed. Hello. Oh my gosh. You've done a, some really cool stuff, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. You've done projects like the Minty Project, This Is Us. You've done a lot, and you're only how? 14. 14. So that is incredible. So tell us a little bit about your journey. You're from Charlotte? Yeah. You're from Charlotte? I started taking classes when I was nine, and I hated the idea of acting. I wanted to be a chemist or an astronomer. Really? <laughs> yeah. But all of my friends wanted to be like models and actors, and I just didn't see the appeal at the time. I wanted to be a chemist, um, and so I put all of my energy into that. And then over the summer, my mom just wanted me to have something to do. Yeah. And so she took me to Acting Out Studios uh -huh. in Charlotte and um, took me to a summer camp there. And I fell in love instantly. And oh so we decided to start taking classes. And I took classes for about three years there. So until I was like 12. Um, and then I attended the Intelligent Showcase in the spring. Um, so yeah, that's my, where my talent journey started. Okay. Yeah, and then after that, I moved to LA. How long did you move from, you did Talent Inc. in March, yeah. so how long after that did you go to LA? Only a couple of months. Uh, and have you ever been to LA before? I have. I'm originally from California. Are you really? Yeah, I was born in Castro Valley. Okay. Yeah, and my mom has lived in California for most of her life, and when she married my dad. Oh. Yeah, when she married my dad. Um, they moved down to South Carolina. Wow. So it was very easy for her to just go back because we're already from there. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. I had only really seen like the San Francisco area. I hadn't really seen LA. Oh, okay. But it was a really fun experience. We were staying um, to sign with my manager and agent. We were staying in like, like an Airbnb. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in the center of like LA. Yeah, so that was really cool to see it, and then we just moved to our house. This is our house in LA. Wow, what a cool story! Yeah, this doesn't happen overnight, right? Yeah. But things happen very, very quickly for you, which is amazing. It's so cool. But you're still going on auditions yes. all the time. You're still hearing no. Yeah. So I think it's huge to just not get discouraged. So that's the thing that you know you would say to people, I guess, is. Yeah, you know, you're going to be facing rejection a lot before you get Um And I think you just have to keep working towards it. You know, I still take classes. I work with my in-house still. Yeah. And sometimes... Louder for the people in the back. I'm She's still, still in class. <laughs> yeah. And um, some seasons are, like, slower than others. Yes. I feel, you know, there will be some times when I'm auditions every other day and then sometimes I don't get auditions for like two weeks at a time. But it really just depends. Comes in waves. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like I just have to appreciate every opportunity that I get. Because sometimes, you know, there are people who don't get the audition to begin with. You know, right? And every audition is an experience to get like exposed to past directors. Which is huge because once you go into casting and you've been requested um, for, ca for casting, they start to, to know who you are, yeah. and they start to say, hey, we want Brianna, and they'll tell your agent that or your manager, so. Yeah, for other roles. Right, so that's why it's so important to go on as many as auditions as you can. Yeah, and give every single one a role, even if you feel like the role maybe isn't for you, you know, you still have to give it your all because every, like, good reading is a chance to expose yourself. Yeah. That's great advice. That's great advice. So, have you ever been to New York? I haven't. I oh my goodness! Because go. I was going to ask you the the great question: New York or LA? Oh. So you have to go to New York. So I that next time that we talk, I can ask you New York or LA. Yeah, <laughs> I have to go to New York. I yes. want to go so bad. I want to see like a show on Broadway. Oh my gosh! I I want to see New York so bad. Yay. And when the best music ever came out. Uh -huh. I realized there was a billboard in Times Square for the show, and we did it. I wanted to go, but it was just the time wasn't right, so I didn't go and see it. But that would have been the time yeah. to go. Yeah, well, you'll have another one. Don't worry. Yes, you will. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about um, some of the projects that you've worked on. Yeah, 
Yeah, so my first ever project was the Mindy Project on Hulu. And I booked that five days after going to LA, which wow. was crazy. And I know it doesn't always happen like that. So I'm very grateful and fortunate for that. Yeah. Wow, that's that incredible. Dude, it was a, I mean, Oh. It was an actual role, like it was a speaking yeah. role. That's incredible. Yeah, and it was a guest star, so I didn't have to go through the whole audition process. And it eventually turned into a reoccurring. So I ended up being a reoccurring on the mini project um, for two seasons. Wow. Yeah, the final two. That's incredible. That's yeah. awesome. What has been your favorite, I know you have a lot, but what has been kind of one of your favorite moments or very something very memorable that has happened on your journey so I feel like a very memorable moment for me has been like driving through Beverly Hills and seeing my face so that's huge yeah that's amazing it's a great accomplishment literally that's awesome. huge but that's really <laughs> huge <laughs> but uh, uh, that is awesome wow so what is some advice that you would give to you know somebody maybe doing the talent inc showcase or, or someone that is just on this journey what is just a little piece of of advice that maybe it's something that you wish you had known or just some advice for us yeah i feel like some advice i would give is take something from every experience you have so like just being here in general is such a big accomplishment and the fact that or are putting themselves out there and, and performing and things. And it, it's intimidating. It's intimidating. And the fact that they're brave enough to do that and they're passionate enough about their craft that they're able to perform, you know, that's such a huge accomplishment. And you should be so proud of yourself for even being here to begin with. You know, and every every audition you go on, every agent callback is just a learning experience and an opportunity regardless if it turns out successful. That's great advice. And to be so young, you are such a joy and you're so well spoken and so professional. So you are you're incredible.